Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks so Geeks. Today we are going to discuss the stock span problem. So what is a stock span problem? So a stock span problem is a financial problem where we have a series of n daily priced quotes for a stock and we need to calculate the span of the stock's price for all n days. So we have a series of n daily price quotes for a stock. So you get the price quotes of a stock for n continuous days and you have to calculate the span of the stock price for all of these n days. So what do we mean by the stock's span? So the span of the stock is basically SI. Uh, it is actually defined as the maximum number of consecutive days just before the given day for which the price of the stock on the current day is less than or equal to the price on the given day. So let us try to understand uh, this definition with the help of an example. So let's say we want to find the span of uh, 70. So this is the uh, fourth term in the array and we have to find out the span of 70. So we see that how many elements before 70 have the value which is less than or equal to 70. So we find out that including 70, these two elements have that value. Um, basically, these two elements pass that condition that their value should be less than or equal to the value of the current element. So the span for the fourth element becomes 2. Now, if you want to calculate the span for uh, say 75 here, which is the sixth element. So the span for 75 becomes uh, this, uh, these four elements, 60, 70, 60, and 75. So the span for the uh, 75, which is actually the sixth element in this array becomes four. So this is the problem and we have to calculate the span for each of these elements. So if we have n elements in an array, so we have to give n spans for each, uh, which is one span for each of the day. So uh, you can again uh, understand the problem with the help of this diagram that span of the first element will always be one because there isn't any element before it. Then we have the uh, this uh, bar here. So again, the previous bar is actually bigger than this value. So the span becomes one again for this the span becomes one for the same reason then we come here then we see that yes there are two elements which are smaller than or equal to this element so the span becomes two coming to uh, this fourth index the span again becomes one coming to the fifth index element uh, so we see that these four elements actually have the value smaller than or equal to the value of the current element so the span becomes four and finally for the sixth element the span becomes six so uh, let us look at the uh, first solution which will be a simple solution uh, basically a brute force solution but an inefficient method so what we do is we traverse the input uh, price array for every element being visited traverse the elements on the left of it and increment the span value of it while the elements on the left side are smaller. So what we'll do is that from the current element will actually start going to the left and we'll keep on incrementing the value of the span till the point we keep encountering the smaller elements. So let's look at the code for it. So we have the calculate span method which takes as an argument the uh, price array, the size of the array and the span array. Now, this price array will have the prices on each of the day for the stock and we have to fill the span array here, which will, which will have the span of each of the day. So, we initialize the span for the first day, which is at the index 0 as 1, because that it will be always v1. Now, we run a loop uh, from uh, index 1 to n minus 1 and we initialize the uh, span value as 1. Uh, this is the initial value because 
the element itself will also be counted so the initial value is 1 then we start reversing left while the next element on the left is smaller than the uh, price i so we start the second loop with j equal to i minus 1 and we keep decrementing the value of j till the time either j reaches 0 or uh, the price of the i is uh, actually smaller than price of the j so at that time the uh, loop will break so till that time we keep on incrementing the span value so uh, with the help of these two loops here we are going to fill in the span and we'll get the solution so this is a utility function print array which just prints out the array so it runs a for loop and inside the for loop it's doing a printf the element at index i now here is the driver method wherein you have the price array uh, then you calculate the size of the array then we declare a span array of the same size as the price array then we call the function calculate span and then finally we print the span array so the uh, time complexity of this method is actually order of n square so this is as we said initially it is an inefficient method this is a brute force solution so now we are going to look at a better solution which will be a linear time complexity method so so how do we uh, start with it so we see that uh, span of i on a day i can be easily computed if we know the closest day preceding i such that the price is greater than on that day then the price on the uh, day i so what we'll do is we'll basically uh, select a day say we have to calculate the span for the uh, fifth index day now we find out the day at which the uh, value of the stock was actually greater than uh, this day so we directly come to day number one so index one we come here so we call this uh, as hi now to calculate the span what we do is we just do i minus h of i so the span of uh, the fifth element becomes five minus one so the five minus one is four so that is the span of this uh, element so to implement this logic we use a stack as an abstract data structure to store the days that is i h i h of h of i and so on uh, when we go from day i minus 1 to i we pop the days when the price of the stock was less than or equal to the price of the i and then we push the value of the day i back to the stack so uh, to understand it better let's uh, look at the code so the we have the calculate span method wherein you have the same arguments as the previous method uh, so initially here we create a stack integer type stack and we push on push the uh, index of the first element uh, onto it so the index 0 is pushed and we also initialize the uh, span of uh, the first index uh, first element that is that index 0 as 1 because it will always be 1 now uh, we run a loop from uh, index 1 to n minus 1 here and what we'll do is we pop elements from the stack while the stack is not empty and top of the stack is smaller than the price of i so we run a loop we have these two conditions here and we keep on popping the elements out once that is done if stack becomes empty then price i is greater than all the elements on its left that is price 0 1 till i minus 1 else price i is greater than the elements after top of the stack so we check if the stack is empty then the value becomes the span value becomes i plus 1 otherwise it becomes i minus the top of the stack so once uh, we have computed the value of for the span of the index i we actually uh, push that index i onto the stack for the next iteration and so on we just keep on computing the span values and finally we have the whole of the span array now looking at the time complexity 
at first if it seems that the time complexity is more than order of n but if we take a closer look we observe that every element in the array is added and removed from the stack at most once so it is once added and it is once removed so there are total 2n operations at most so assuming that the uh, stack operation takes order of one time so we can say that the time complexity is order of n also the auxiliary space that will be order of n in the worst case when all the elements are actually sorted in the decreasing order so that is all for this tutorial thank you very much